Hello friends, today we would be looking at Greenworks uh, 80 volt Pro Tools, specifically 20 inch uh, pole hatch trimmer and a 26 inches handheld uh, hatch trimmer. Basically the difference is one is pole, another is non-pole and what we would be looking into is a side by side comparison on how these differ. I couldn't find this comparison anywhere online so I thought I'll just do it myself. Uh, it happened to be that I decided to kind of buy the pole. I didn't like it first, then I bought the handheld. And actually after looking at that, I decided to kind of keep the pole. So we'll just look at everything from what comes in the box. Um, as you see, the pole comes with two attachments, like the base and the pole. And the 26 inches kind of come uh, right, uh, assembled from the box right there. And here what we would look into is the blades comparison. What's the length difference and what's the width difference. Uh, so, so, so the pole looks a little bit wider. Actually it's not, we'll just show you real quick. But the length wise there is certainly a difference and then there is an extended length at the back and at the front. Now I'm also seeing like there is a red cover on the left hand side as you see on the right it's missing. I think that's just the missing part looks like. Um, and then the 26 has a tip. I think the tip is supposed to be there in the um, pole hedge trimmer too. I'm seeing some pictures uh, which seems to have a tip out there. So I don't know if this is an older model I got from Amazon or, uh, or there is a missing part out there. But to have the f uh, fair blade comparison, um, we'll just put this right on top of each other to kind of see literally uh, apple to apple and uh, before we do that just showing you the back side of it I think the left side is again the newer generation of the tools uh, the right one side has some perforations as you may see and the left side is like a completely flat uh, blade out there um, I've emailed Greenworks I have not received any response from them yet I think they're pretty slow but I'm, I love their tools nonetheless um, so so as you may see here the blades are almost similar i mean you cannot find much difference in terms of width um, and we particularly did not see much difference in cutting uh, i would say the sharpness they're very similar there's uh, there's not uh, much of a difference but we'll show you i think the length definitely gives you an edge on 26 inches right there so the pole on the top actually has a tilt mechanism you could go all the way from 90 to various angles out there to all the way 180 whereas the handheld has a handle twist uh, which kind of gives you a little bit of a flexibility when you're kind of cutting different angle or pruning from a different angles out there so so let's look at the length uh, with the pole and the base attached so this has like a three prong knob when you connect this extension to the base which has the battery this basically connects a unit and the motor is actually sitting on the hatch trimmer out there i think the intuition here is that in future you can probably replace the hedge with something like a pole saw and might be able to repurpose the base unit um, but that's just my guess. I did not see that uh, attachment available yet. So having it see all the way, I've just, what I've done is like kept the tip of both the blades aligned almost. And if we look at from there on, you definitely see that the blades are smaller on the pole, which we know about six inches. And that difference is quite obvious but then the pole gives you additional flexibility to kind of reach the places without having the head be bigger now this also comes with the belt attachment which is only there with the pole hedge trimmer and not with the handheld um, we have actually the same belt received with the blower and the uh, trimmer but i don't think there is a need for that here having said that this unit is heavy and we'll get into the comparison of the weight side by side too so this unit has an on and off button and a jamming function we'll see that in action uh, later as well 
in, in more depth. Uh, and then there's a release lock out there. Now that one has a variable speed, whereas the pole hedge has just one lock button here. There's no anti-jamming, nothing like that. And it's just one speed. Personally, did not see much value addition of the variable speed in this unit, uh, quite candidly, like with the blower, it makes sense. I do not know what value does it add here, but uh, I'm not very pro with these tools. So uh, there might be a use for it if they have designed it. Another key feature for me is on how loud these units are. And for some reason, the handheld unit, the 26 inches is just extremely loud. I'll play the clip for have you guys listen the sounds uh, firsthand yourself. Uh, but the pole unit is uh, about 10 decibels less louder and this was one of the reasons for me to kind of return the handheld unit as well. So let's quickly look into the weight and the weight distribution of these units. Both the units are heavy. I think most of the people are not going to like either of the units from the weight point of view. Now from my experience, the hedge trimmers, even the handhelds are heavy, uh, but the 80 volt battery is huge. So that's definitely going to make a difference out there. Now the pole units, the holding arm is definitely takes a little bit of an extra toll because the motor is in the front. Uh, there is a strap, shoulder strap there, and I think eventually you can hopefully figure out the right holding position and uh, to kind of maneuver this unit efficiently. Um, this is my first experience, so I'm I'm hopeful I can I think eventually do a better job with the pole unit, though I'm right now struggling with it for the most part. Um, but with that, uh, you know, uh, we have the other two units from the green box. They are very easy to work with, even though they are heavy, just because of the ergonomics of that. Uh, and talking of that, a quick flash of what we have. We're going to most likely return the handheld unit. Just keep the pole hedge trimmer. And we absolutely love the blower and the trimmer unit. We have an additional review of these in a separate video if you're interested. So let's get into looking at these units in action. Uh, so this is the 80 volt battery. If you have not seen it before, this is how massive it is. So it does carry some weight and units are pretty much designed to, uh, I think, counterbalance this in some form. So the battery eject was like not really smooth as compared to the blower unit or the trimmer unit, but it's not that bad either. Mm -hmm. Again, this is just a single, I would say, speed unit. Mm -hmm. um, and there's no fancy variable speed or jamming feature on this pole unit out there. So this is my first time actually using the pole and I'm extremely careful not to kind of screw up anything here. And it is painful uh, as compared to the handheld unit, but I think with time uh, I can figure out the various holding positions and maybe able to do a better job with the pole unit in contrast to the handheld unit. One advantage you're seeing probably right off the bat is the reach, right? I was literally standing outside the beds uh, as we're also giving uh, or we also tried uh, pruning some branches. So this also gives you a feel of how sharp the unit is uh, as comparing to my cord electric uh, trimmer. Trimming a branch like this, even though it's not a very thick branch, would take time, but this was like extremely sharp. Having said that, both the units are pretty good in terms of sharp cuts. I think you're going to be extremely happy in terms of the quality of the cut out there with, with both the units. Um, and what we would do in the remaining video is kind of give you an empathy of switching between pole and handheld unit handheld unit does give you more I would say uh, close proximity to the shrubs you're working so you can I think if you're transitioning from an existing handheld unit 
you might find it tad easier to actually uh, use that and get to very good shapes um, and this is a quick look at the handheld unit on how the battery unit gets into the uh, or, or how the battery gets into the unit uh, the release mechanism is very similar to the pole it's not very sharp eject like the other units but it's not bad either it has a power button to engage or get the unit working and then you have an anti-jamming unit which basically makes the blades run mm -hmm. counter clock uh, release it from a jam per se uh, and in the demo you would see me switching actually uh, handle to variable positions uh, experimenting uh, it, it does it does uh, it, it does actually help a tad I did not see a significant difference I'm used to kind of not twisting the handle so I was like in my mind turning the whole unit as you may see and then I would I would twist the handle now after this to see if that really does make a big difference. I guess it does. Uh, so, so, so some new additions are, I think, more ergonomic and uh, very interesting to see how they would change my behavior over a period of time. But if you are tuned to kind of static way of doing things, I think it's going to take a while to kind of get used to it. But nonetheless, uh, you know, pole unit comes with a huge advantage that you never have to step into the beds and you know a lot of people are scared of stepping into the beds because of the insects snakes what and whatnot um, and if you have a rake which is tall enough to collect the clippings after then you may never have to kind of step into the bed so uh, so that's a huge advantage I would say because in our case we have in most cases either two layers or three layers of shrubs and as you may see with the handheld you have to go really in a close proximity even to the 26 inch now this does as an advantage like this is pretty wide uh, shrubs we have and the 26 inch was able to kind of cut most of it in just one go and this is one another example of the pool unit I can reach pretty much the whole shrub zone standing outside and with the handheld I was not able to reach there at all because we have roses in the front um, but anyways I, 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 I hope this is giving you enough intuition and the differences between between both the units uh, pros and cons and based on your settings you may be able to either decide to go with one of them or both of them might not meet your needs right uh, but in any case uh, if you have uh, seen this video helpful please like subscribe and we'll keep posting more content. Thank you.